we conduct it i have taken one uh, old uh, thumbnail and the only reason i have taken a old thumbnail is that because uh, my team is not with me my team members they are on uh, holiday celebration celebrating the raksha bandhan so we were getting many calls and messages from these states and we were also getting calls from other states that so do we have any set exam in punjab sir do we have any set exam in up हमारे स्टेट में सेट एग्जाम होता है क्या एंड राजस्थान सेट विच वॉज रिसेंटली कंडक्टेड बट आफ्टर अप्रॉक्स एट टू नाइन ईयर्स सो वॉट इज द सिस्टम एंड पैटर्न ऑफ सेट एग्जाम सो वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज अ पब्लिक वीडियो ऑल द न्यू स्टूडेंट्स आर गोइंग टू वॉच इट फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम विनीत पांडे आई स्टार्टेड माई करियर फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल टाउन इवन वंस इवन आई डिड नो वॉट इज यू जी सी नेट इंग्लिश एंड आई यूज टू गेट स्केर्ड ऑफ एट Right now, I'm having India's biggest online batch in UGC Net English. Approx 3,000 plus students. I'm also handling India's biggest offline batch. I've taught in University of Delhi for three years. I'm ex assistant professor, University of Delhi, ten times Net, seventeen set exams, two times JRF, eighteen, nineteen, and twentieth set are on way. So most probably within six months. i will be having 3 to 4 set exams more so uh, this was for my new students my new viewers and uh, if you are english literature aspirant if you are literature enthusiast subscribe the channel that was my introduction to all of you so once again i welcome you to my channel and let's talk about the set exam so first we'll go for some queries basic queries then i'll tell you what to read for the upcoming set exam right now we have Jammu Kashmir set exam and Ladakh set that is on first of October. Write down this thing. First October Jammu Kashmir set exam, JK set and Ladakh set. Now as uh, the exam is approaching, so almost the form dates are out. So you cannot fill the form. Then we have Telangana set in the month of October, Gujarat set in the month of November, West Bengal set in the month of December. Three months and continue exams. to know the exact date and details of these set exam watch my last uh, second last video i have given the complete details and the brochures of three state exams so now as we have four set exams and three are still available you can fill the form i suggest you fill the form right so uh, because i think within two days one of the set exam is uh, missing the date i think telangana said so let's talk about this thing first of all what is set exam what is net exam net is national eligibility test so the syllabus is made of approx top university syllabus it is said that top 46 central universities now there are 50 plus major 46 central universities in net exam they can take anything from anywhere that's why english net is believed to be the toughest net you will see a lot of people they are trying again and again but it's impossible for them because net syllabus is not fixed then we have state exam set syllabus state eligibility test now the question comes in state eligibility test what are the criteria 99% criteria are same that i must tell you 99% criteria are same what's the difference is that set exam is valid in a particular state now here we have some questions one student texted me she said sir i am from odisha can i apply west bengal set you are from odisha you can apply west bengal set but if you do not have the domicile of west bengal so the local student the native students will get priority now if you are from west bengal you have qualified west bengal set you don't have to qualify net exam set is equally valid to net सेट और नेट बराबर होता है इफ यू हैव क्वालिफाइड सेट नो नीड टू क्वालिफाइड नेट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दीज आर द बेसिक डिफरेंसेस सेकंड थिंग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सेट एग्जाम नॉट बिकॉज आई एम सेटिंग इन माय रूम सत्रह सेट एग्जाम क्वालिफाई किए मैंने गुजरात रिपीटेड है राजस्थान रिपीटेड है उत्तराखंड दो बार रिपीटेड है तो आई हैड हैबिट ऑफ अपेयरिंग इन सेट एग्जाम्स बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड लास्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स आई कुड नॉट अटेम्प्ट so i am going to attempt again i have given many set exams so whatever i'm telling is based on my experience my knowledge right second important thing earlier the syllabus for set exam was different 
different different states had different different syllables now these states are doing cheating when they change syllables i raised my voice tab bhi maine awaaz uthai thi that you are doing injustice now these set exam conducting authorities what did they do they introduced the syllabus of net and how they how did they introduce they just copied in our indian constitution constitution the law of the center and the law of the states they have some differences but here what did they do they just copied net syllabus so that you they don't have to work hard primarily set exam set syllabus should be based on the top universities of the particular state for example i'm two times topper of rajasthan set so when they were conducting i prepared the kota university syllabus ajmer university syllabus then bikaner university syllabus and along with that they had a new central university central university of kishangarh ajmer i prepared that so it was easy for me to knew i knew all the questions it was very easy paper for me in set exam as it is a state level exam they should deal with set level only they should not talk net but what they did they just copied so now the third question so sir set exam is it tough or not i must tell you set exams in comparison of net exams are not tough agar hum compare kare net zyada tough hai set zyada tough hai so set is somewhere 80% tough net is 100% tough so there is some difference now west bengal set west bengal set has same net standard gujarat set if you watch my 3 years 4 years old video gujarat set was one of the most easy set exam even i didn't like the papers i am topper of two times two time gujarat set i used to hate papers why are they asking stupid questions basic questions so they surprised our students they also gave one of the toughest set paper but again gujarat has a habit of asking easy question papers west bengal repeatedly asking tough questions so technically if we talk about percentage set is easy than net but if you are applying for west bengal set prepare like net right and uh, telangana set let's talk about telangana set so i'm qualified andhra set but at that time there was no telangana so now they have made telangana and uh, i could not fill the last form so i am going to qualify telangana set again telangana set they will basically ask easy questions they will not go for tough questions i have seen this thing toughest questions are either asked in west bengal set or they go for jammu kashmir set exam jnk set students who are going to appear for jnk set and ladakh set jk set will, will be the toughest one ladakh set will not be that tough because ladakh is a new union territory it will be the second set exam i missed my last set exam i couldn't appear i have a bad habit of postponing so i couldn't fill my forms this exam and last exam was also easy so we have talked about net and set now please remember this thing those who could not qualify net exam you tried your best to qualify net exam this is the best chance for you now a question that sir if i apply in other state and i don't have domicile can i go for private jobs kya main private job kar sakti hu kya yes you can go for private jobs suppose you are not able to qualify any net exam right and you are feeling that you don't have any certificate so i suggest qualify state exams at least you have a certificate and that can work in private colleges i'm uh, telling it on camera clearly it will not help you in government job if you do not belong to the state but it can help you in private job so you are from uttar pradesh you have qualified telangana set you go to the colleges of telangana on private colleges they can pay you 30000 40000 you can join in english literature net and set exams it's really tough a lot of people they don't qualify so you have a lot of uh, you know you have uh, good chances to have those people those jobs and all now comes the good question i have uh, you know uh, stop the comments because i wanted to make this session fruitful for you that's why i'm not taking questions yesterday i took a private live session we took doubt questions so all the students see those who are already registered in the online classes they are getting the guidance we have started guiding them those who are not registered what you do the new students first of all in any set exam make sure your british history is prepared write down this thing make a note british history prepared 
Now, when you say British history prepared, sir, from where to read, what to read? Avoid history books. Now, you will say, sir, what kind of thing you're saying? Why to avoid history books and all? Because David Deches, William J. Long, Edward Albert, Legis Kazamia, Compton Rickett, or whatever the books you have, whatever the books you have, they did not write for net exam, for set exam. They have written history as they study at the research. It's just history. Set exam, net exam, both are objective. And in objective, what they want to know, the accuracy, the sharpness of your brain. So instead of going for any book, Start working on particular ages, Anglo-Saxon, then Chaucer, then Dark Age, then Early Elizabethans, then Jacobians, then Cavaliers, then uh, Puritans, then Restoration, Augustans, Pre-Romantics, Romantics, Victorians, Moderns, High Moderns, Postmoderns, Pro-Postmoderns, right? Focus on separate ages because history books give you unnecessary narration. The history book writers are obsessed with Shakespeare and Milton. If you read David Deches, you will see 40, 50 pages. He's just talking about Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Shakespeare was good, Shakespeare was great. But that's what we don't need for the exam. For competitive exam, we need points, facts, important details, in-depth, in-depth pointers. Like if they say that Shakespeare had a habit of writing in prose and poetry. Where do we have his prose? You will say it's a drama. No, Shakespeare's dramas are not in prose. They are poetic drama, they are in blank words. That will, be, that will be a mistake. People will say that Milton's autobiography, Samson Agonist, when, would, when was it published? It was not published separately. It was a closed drama. Milton attached it with Paradise Regain. Right? So there are questions from in depth. Who requested Milton to write Paradise Regain? Milton was blind man. So his nephew Philip used to write. So different, different ages focus on these things and what to focus. Introduction of age. Why this age is called that age? Why Jacobians are called Jacobians? Why there are many names of Puritan age? Iron government, parliament of the saints, protectorate, interregnum, commonwealth, the Puritan age. Why they have multiple names? If they say that Augustans are the age of enlightenment, why? Who are the other peoples? So first of all, introduction of the age, understanding of the age, why Victorians are called Victorians, why Victorians were different from others, why Elizabethans are called Elizabethans, what made them different, better than others. Then, in these ages, every age has five to ten great writers. They have, you know, made the age famous. Like you talk about Elizabethans, so we have Shakespeare, we have uh, Francis Bacon, we have John Dunn, we have Christopher Marlowe, then some other good people. The last of Elizabethans, we have Bunyan and Milton, those who are called last of Elizabethans. You can also add them in Puritan age. Every age has five to seven great writers. Restoration Dryden is there. In Restoration, there are comedy of manner writers, Wycherley, Congreve, Atherase, Van Brew. So first of all, make a list of important authors of every age. And here you have to remember this thing. Sometimes you'll find people teaching you Anglo-Saxon in details. This is King Alfred, five pages notes on King Alfred. They are not important. anglo sections they just ask repeated questions, basic questions. So if you're just reading everything, it will be a loss. Go for smart reading. Remember this thing, smart reading is required. In anglo sections they have simple questions. In Chaucer, there are selected works, primarily Canterbury Tales, House of Fame, Trollus and Crusade. These three are most important works. Then if you go over dark ages, then again, there are five to seven important works, primarily written by the educationists. The dictionary is important. Then selected, selected works. So top authors, their top works. And then comes my formula. Known writer, unknown work. Unknown writer, known work. That's my formula. So if I have to check your knowledge, what will I do? I will ask you an unknown author from a particular age. I'll simply say who has written Latin English dictionary. People are like, okay, who has written Heart of Sedition? They don't know it. Or known writers, unknown works. Last net exam, there was a question like this. Thomas Hardy's poetry was asked. Thomas Hardy is a novelist. Everybody reads him for Mayor of Castlebrez. Everybody reads him for Jude the Obscure. People read him 
for return of the native far from the madding crowd and many other works like this right but what did they ask poetry known writers unknown works unknown writers known works the famous work dispensary written by samuel garth unknown writer people don't know him who has written provoked husband so make a rule like this that known writer unknown book unknown writer known book this is how you have to finish complete british history now the students make mistake sometimes they start with theories sometimes they start with culture studies no my dear friend there should be a proper system british history is the first thing finish british history once you're done with british history and that also till moderns not the post moderns till moderns moderns then you have to go for literary criticism plato aristotle horace longinus ben johnson john dryden august uh, alexander pope and then matthew arnold t s eliot beach me wordsworth coleridge keats idea of shelley on poetry right so defense of poetry these criticism things are done restudy now what is uh, the important thing restudy criticism with british history attach it apply theoretical approaches then go for literary theory british history criticism literary theory once you have read literary theory connect it to post modern then you go for post moderns approx 70 important authors are from post modern you have to read many important authors like john brain room at the top so these kind of things you have to read right then sherwood anderson ohio winsburg oh use a famous work marilyn robinson these kind of works they ask right then once you are done with these things criticism done literary theory done british history done please go for indian literature and remember indian literature what does that mean indian literature in english so you have torudath then other writers related to her you know the surrounding kamla das is there sarojini naidu is there kamla purnia is there then some other minor writers and along with that the writers related to partition partition novelist mostly when they ask partition novelist people know only khushwan singh so if you are preparing for net set exam and you just know one name finished they also know that you know khushwan singh only so go for some other names along with that thing in indian literature find out the authors who talk about the diaspora ask yourself can you count five indian authors who are the part of indian diaspora so you have to read like this then five indian post colonial authors and then indian feminism feminism is in india also then indian modern theaters indian aesthetics dalit literature indian writers in translation i teach all these things in my online classes but you have to go for all these things then once you done with indians go for some world literature authors greek authors roman authors check them who was sophocles euripides ovid's metamorphoses what does that mean who was sappho and phaeo or boccaccio's decameron it is totally uh, uh, you know it inspired canterbury tales so we have to go for the classical writers <clears throat> the first sex war that comes in lysistrata by aristophanes there was a question in the net exam which war is in the background peloponnesian war write down these things note down these things then canadian literature australian literature then south african african literature in fact african afro american Toni Morrison, Alice Walker, Nadine Gordimer, then Chimaranda Adichi, then Gugivo Thiongo, Paul Soinka, H. B. Uh, Nurdin Farha. These all writers are important. And once you're done with these people, you have to go for German authors: Thomas Mann, Bertolt Brecht, Hermann Hesse, then many others. French Kafka, French Andre Zeda is there. Then Samuel Beckett, Albert Camus. In short, there is a lot. I know it is not that easy to read it on your own. That's why we recommend proper classes. This is also one of the secret of my ten net. I have read all these things. I didn't stop studying. So once you're done with these things, then literary terms, rhetorics, then comes linguistics, English in India, English pedagogy, the research and all literary research, literary pedagogy, pedagogy, and cultural studies. I know in this one video I cannot uh, narrate each and everything, but I have given you the road map. So those who did not have any guidance, please start with British history. In set exams, maximum questions will be from British history, literary criticism, theories, Indian Americans, plus culture studies. Set exams normally don't ask questions from linguistics. Set exams avoid linguistics. So these are the basic things.
Now, as I'm going to switch the session off, if you are planning to qualify Telangana set, West Bengal set and upcoming Gujarat set, our fresh batch, it started on 20th of August. We are going to close admission with the end of this month. So 20th we started, we are going to close the admissions. I suggest you to join this batch. I'm 10 times net qualified. Ex-assistant professor, University of Delhi, author of four books. I can teach you all these things. I can make these things on your tips. I teach in the India's biggest offline batch. Check our pages, check our YouTube videos, check my offline teaching methods. If you think you understand my language, if you think that I can teach you well, I suggest you, this is your future, this is your career, join the batch. I am going to qualify Telangana set. I am going to appear in Ladakh set. I am going to nail West Bengal set and others. I will do that. How can I do that again and again? I know what they ask. When I prepare, you prepare, we prepare together. And I am highly updated. See, yesterday, Sunday, Jammu Kashmir Public Service Commission was conducted. And Madhya Pradesh state exam was conducted. I have got both the both of the papers. The copies are with me. The first question of Jammu Kashmir Public Service Commission, Atlanta and Caledon. Check our online classes. AC Swinburne. All the online students who are watching it. Check the lecture of pre raphaelite Brotherhood there where, where I have talked about AC Swinburne. Elgin and Charles Swinburne. Atlanta and Caledon is a Greek poetry. That is a direct title. One more question that I loved it. Who is responsible for being the chief architect of pandemonium in John Milton's pedal lost? It is a question exam of March. I recently taught this in offline batch, Malsibo. Just like that. So when I will be teaching you, I have the Madhya Pradesh set exam with me. The MP said the germ of the novel lay in the medieval things. So you will have complete guidance and at least the person who himself is very much involved in these exams. So it's your career, it's your choice. And remember when you are taught by the stars, sky's the limit. What to do to join? How to join? WhatsApp me on double eight one zero two eight nine six three seven. As these four days are holidays, I will handle this number. So I will handle this number double eight one zero two eight nine six three seven. WhatsApp me, I'll tell you the procedure to join. I'll also share the videos of our toppers, watch the videos and then let's prepare for net and set together. The benefit is that you will be qualifying set exam. You will be qualifying net exam. We will teach you the high level standard of net. So let's study together. Thank you so much for joining. Share this video with friends. May God bless you. Thank you for joining. May God bless you.